Hi guys, welcome to another foil review. Today, we're going to be reviewing the Spots Shark. Spots is a French brand that's been involved in foil boarding since the very beginning. Um, they've been mainly concentrated on the high performance racing side. Um, in 2014, they pretty much ruled the top of the rankings and most of the top riders were riding the Spots 2 foil. Um, after that, it got a bit quiet around them. The foils were not as competitive as, for example, the Mike Slab, the Moses, the Banga, and so on. But for 2017, they've come around with a whole new design um, that looks like it's going to be really competitive this year. So let's have a look at it. So this is the new Shark. Um, first thing you'll notice is that the mast has been completely redesigned compared to the old one. Uh, it still has the adjustable tail section, but if you really have a look at it, it bears almost no resemblance to the tunas, the Spots 3s. The Shark weighs 3.16 kilos. The mast is 102 centimeters, including the bottom of the fuselage, 98 centimeters mast only. The core of the mast is 155 millimeters at the top, basically at the base, and down at the foil, at its thinnest point, it's 110 millimeters. The profile depth of the mast at its thickest point is 19.2 millimeters and at its thinnest point it's 11.55 millimeters. The front wing has a span of 62 centimeters tip to tip and a 10 centimeter cord. The back wing has a span of 35 centimeters by 62 millimeters. The distance between the trailing edge of the front wing and the leading edge of the back wing is 38.5 centimeters. The total length of the fuselage is 55.2 centimeters. The thing that's really special about the Spots foils is the adjustable rear wing. Like I said before, you can change the angle from about a maximum angle of 9 degrees to a minimum angle of 4.4 degrees. And that's done through screws at the top and bottom of the fuselage. So when I tighten it here at the bottom of the fuselage, you will see that eventually I will get a higher angle. If I do the opposite and I use the top screw here and I start adjusting, you will see that the wing basically rises up here a little bit, reducing the angle of attack. And I found that the best angle for me was at 5 degrees, so a bit uh, more angle than minimum. The Shark comes with a Tuttle head and I extended that um, with my plate adapter, my carbon plate adapter. I'll put some details in the descriptions if you're interested in finding out where you can get one. Um, and that left me with a total mass length of actually 112. Um, and this, I did this to basically let it be more competitive with the other foils I'm comparing it with, like the Banga, the Mike Slab, the Moses, etc. because they all have a uh, master longer than 1 meter 10. I hope um, eventually that Spots will send me their race mast, which is 108, so I can do a full race test with it. Let's talk about performance, because I'm pretty sure everyone wants to know about this. It's definitely race competitive, even in, let's say, this uh, free ride mast setup. Uh, I could reach upwind VMGs between 17 and 18 knots, and I could go downwind on my deepest reaches 
at 33, 34 knots, which are compar comparative speeds to the Banga. Let's talk about stability. First off, the mast is one of the stiffest um, on the market at the moment. On my torsion test, it beat out even the Banga. It had less than um, a two degree deflection um, on that five kilo hanging test. Um, this you will notice on the downwind um, when you're going fast. You will feel very little free movement in the foil, very little surfiness when um, blasting off downwind. So you feel very confident uh, putting the hammer down and going as deep as possible and as fast as possible. Another thing that was quite great about this mast was, even out of the box with some small pinholes and not being sanded yet, it was extremely resistant to ventilation. It was almost impossible to get any ventilation on the mast. Um, so I could actually go really hard from fast downwind to upwind without worrying about the mast sucking air and basically wiping out, which for example on the Banga you have to pay a lot of attention to. Um, also on the upwind you can go very fast through chop and you can push as hard as you want and again you won't get any ventilation issues with this mast. On pitch and roll stability, the Shark is sort of middle of the way. It is not as um, roll stable as the Banga for example and it does tend to get a little bit pitchy um, if you are a little bit uncareful with your front foot. So you have to be a little bit more careful what you're doing. I actually preferred to move the foil almost all the way back on my board. I was pretty much standing just behind um, the foil which is slightly farther back than the recommended setting. Um, just so I could drive off more of my back foot so I didn't have to worry about making mistakes with my front foot um, while pushing the board hard downwind. The yaw stability is pretty good for a race foil. It is comparable to what the Mike Slab does and what the Moses does. I find that it is not as yaw stable as the Banga. How does it handle the maneuvers? I found once I got used to um, the foil and that I was able to push it quite hard, it got quite easy in the maneuvers. Um, in light winds and in strong winds, um, as you can really push the foil hard and you don't really have to be careful, you can go into attack very aggressively. And same thing for a jibe. I never had to worry about how hard I was pushing on my back foot because I never had to worry about the ventilation. And this again comes from having that extremely stiff mast and that gives you a great amount of confidence for practicing and learning these maneuvers. The very flat front wing also gives a quite nice glide through all the maneuvers. So you have quite a good amount of time to switch your feet and jibe and also in the tack you don't have to get it just perfect. Um, the foil will just glide through the maneuver and forgive quite a lot of mistakes. Spots have really upped their game for this 2017 season. They've completely redesigned their foil. It bears almost no resemblance to the old um, tunas. Um, the only thing that sort of remained is the adjustable um, stabilizer or back wing. But otherwise they've changed front wing form, back wing form and the mast. I did not test it with the race mast, I tested it with the 102 mast. But even with this thicker, um, more wider mast, it was still possible to reach similar speeds to my Banga and I never had to worry about ventilation. So I would actually say in more difficult conditions I would probably be faster around the course with this foil than I was on my Banga. They've also really improved the build quality. Of course the foil is a bit heavier but the mast is way stiffer. I jumped this for pretty much three or four weeks every day. Not a single crack, nothing broke and I had a few bad landings. Um, there are a few pinholes in it, but um, considering straight out of the box there was very little to do with it, it worked extremely well. Um, there are a few cosmetic things where you can see loose strands that have been laminated in. Um, this is mainly cosmetic, this has nothing to do with the actual quality or the um, strength of the foil. And all in all, 
this is a very, very good foil. Um, the only thing that will make it a bit difficult, for, especially for new people getting into it, is the adjustable tail wing. I would have preferred if they would have put some kind of a marking on there as sort of a standard good setting, because you have a very large range of angles. So um, it would have been nice to have like a standard setting that would allow everyone to sort of have fun with it, where people could have started to adjust from that. Because at the moment, um, you get the foil, you have no instructions, you put it together and you're sort of left on your own to find out where your perfect setting is. It took me a good three or four hours on the water tuning the foil and also positioning the foil on the board to get that perfect setting where I felt really comfortable to go fast. When you don't have that perfect setting the foil is almost unrideable so you really have to spend the time with this foil tuning it till you get that perfectly balanced magic setting for you and then you'll have a foil that performs right up there with the rest of the race foils you can get this year. I hope this review gave you a bit of an insight to the Spots Shark and I hope it made your decision easier to buy it or not. Remember if you like our content, if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe to the channel, give us a like, comment in the sections. If you have any questions feel free to contact us directly. Thank you for listening, thank you for watching, See you on the water.